What's up, everybody? Welcome to another live stream. Greetings from Kyoto, Japan. So I am at the entrance of Nishiki Market, and this is the largest open air market here in Kyoto. That's the sign over there. You see Nishiki, and it is um, just um, around lunchtime, so it shouldn't be that crowded because um, everyone's out eating lunch and. This place is more for snacking and shopping, but it is the weekend. It's Saturday, so it is going to be a little bit crowded. But hello, everybody. Hi, Indigo. Hi, Rodi. Evo, Palin, Chu. It's been a while since um, I've done uh, a live stream outside in the city. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream and wish me luck. A1, the time traveler, Panda, Mindy's mom, Feng Of. Hello, everybody. Hello everybody, what's up? <laughs> Hi, um, yeah, so you know, I'm standing outside the market and we're gonna walk through this market. It's a pretty big market and um, Satoshi and I, we already filmed here for the main channel. Uh, this video is gonna be coming up in a few weeks from now on Tabi Eats. But I thought it would be kind of fun to do it live, but it's crowded. So wish me luck and I hope you guys enjoy this live stream. All right, so here we go. Yeah, long time no see, Panda. What's up? Um, A1, yes, it's very cold here. But not, not too bad, not too bad. So once again, uh, this is the entrance to the marketplace. And as you can see, it's gonna be a long walk. But, gambarimashou. Let's go inside. <laughs> Hi, Chris Hansen, good to see you. So we're gonna see a lot of street food here. This is a osenbe shop that they actually uh, make uh, Japanese rice crackers fresh. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of uh, fresh rice crackers here. Ah, oh, thank you, Feng Ov. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, now let's move on. Let's keep walking along this street. And I'm gonna try my best to not bump into people and get into people's way. So, uh, Kyoto is famous for a lot of uh, interesting cuisine. Kyoto has their own unique uh, dishes and tastes. I personally love it. I love it. Uh, Kyoto uh, is famous for refined tastes. So nothing is extremely salty or very sweet. And by the way, this shop right here, the first shop right here, I'm going to buy something here because the last time we came here, I loved it. It's a wagashi shop, a Japanese confectionery store that has been doing business for ages. And they have something called shinko. It's so interesting. I'm gonna get it. Here, look at this. It's called shinko. It's 107 yen. And it's a type of mochi, but they don't use uh, mochi flour. Konnichiwa. Ano, kono shinko no, eto, nikki o hitotsu kudasai. Hai. はい。今食べます。はい。この前これ食べてすごい美味しかったんですよね。はい。そうなんですよ。で、これもち米じゃないんですよね。あの普通の超新香。はい。はい、ありがとうございます。また来ます。Right, <笑> so this is the uh the place um, that sells uh, this thing called Shinko. Check it out, guys. This is what it looks. I got one called the Nikki. So it's made with uh, regular rice. It's not made with uh, mochi rice. And they pound the regular rice and it's made into this little confectionery. And you know, I, I have the only problem with this uh, market is that you cannot walk in and eat. You do have to stand right by the shop to eat. So I'm going to stand right here. Okay, because it's a pretty um, narrow uh, shopping street. So once again, this is called Shinko, 170 yen. It's one of my favorite things I've eaten and you can't find this in Tokyo. This is a Kyoto specialty. So first thing, here we go. By the way, hey Targ Dark Paracard, what's up? Um, by the way, I have saved my stomach for you guys. This is my first meal of the day. So hopefully we'll eat like a few things here. Mmm, not so good. Nikki 
is cinnamon. So Satoshi hates this. But Kyoto uses a lot of cinnamon in their traditional snacks. So if you like cinnamon, you're gonna like this. Imagine like cinnamon mochi. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Finally got something in my stomach. Mm. How are you guys doing? What's up, Nostra Broad? Hey, Natalie. Hey, Garrett. Mm. Garrett, you know what? It does kind of remind me of a Kulolo, but not as um Kulolo-ish, I guess. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna move on. So once again, this shop, the first shop you see when you enter from the entrance on the left side, you can get this thing called Shinko. I recommend it, the brown one, especially if you like cinnamon. They also have matcha and they have plain, but I do like the cinnamon one, it's called Nikki. Really, your mother was born in Kyoto. That's amazing. Wow, how lucky. Well, all right, let's move on guys. I'm gonna try to. Okay, right next door, there's a place that sell uh, Wagyu sushi. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go there because um, although Satoshi liked it, I wasn't like a huge, huge fan of it. Oh wow, it is much more crowded than the last time I was here. So this is a place where they sell the Wagyu beef sushi. It's not raw, it's actually rare, it's cooked rare. Um, but Satoshi loves it. I personally, I like my meat uh, a little bit more uh, well done. As you can see, there's a lot of shops on both sides of the street. Not only food shops, but you can also find uh, uh, stores. That was Japanese pepper. This is a place selling tofu and yuba. Yeah, they have a, a soy milk cream croquette. Oh yeah, you know what? I got this the last time for Justin. These are uh, dog treats made of uh, uh, soybean. So I did get that for Justin and he actually likes it a lot. Okay, we're gonna cross the street here, cross the road. And you see a lot of people in kimono here in Kyoto. That's because you can actually rent kimono for the day and walk around Kyoto in a kimono. I think I wanna do that one day. What do you guys think? And by the way, that's right, I almost forgot. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in Japan, so I do tend to forget that it's Thanksgiving. These are some really nice uh, Kyoto, uh, like wagashi, right over there. Can you see it? Oh, 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 it's too crowded. Okay, let's, here, 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 here. Check it out. This is a uh, Kyoto wagashi, so pretty and so colorful. Happy Black Friday. All right, let's move on. Wow, this is going to be challenging. Oh yeah, this is super challenging. When you are walking on the street, you cannot. All right, let me try to get through this uh, massive crowd, although I'm not sure if it's actually going to end, but uh, I do want to get some other food to try. Um, there's sushi on my... One moment. I need to get out of this crowd. Hey, Merry Christmas! <laughs> That's true, Merry Christmas. So true. I can say it now and people won't think I'm weird, huh? Right here. This place has a tempura and road omelet. It's quite interesting. Um, but I've already eaten this before, twice actually, so I'm gonna skip this and you guys can't wait for the video to come out. This place has some really interesting uh, uh, stuff too, like this uh, custard cream donut. Let me, let me show you real quick if I can. Uh, no, the ladies. Oh, that's... So this place has a lot of uh, okazu, like side dishes. That you can take home and eat. Hi, Tamara! 
I hope it's not too cold in the Netherlands tomorrow. Wow, it's so crowded today. <laughs> but once again, you know, Nishiki Market is super touristy these days. It, it wasn't. It didn't used to be back in the day. It was more for the local. Wow. It was more local. So this is a a tsukemono market. Kyoto is very famous for tsukemono, pickled vegetables. Wow. Alrighty. Wow, this. This section right here is like, can't even move. You see all the different uh, pickled vegetables here? Well, it, it, hard to see, isn't it? Hard to see, is it? Here, let me, sh let me, there we go. Check out all the different uh, tsukemono here. Look at that. Okay. And there, here we have a Snoopy cafe. So this is like everything Snoopy. All right, I need to find something to eat. I'm hungry. Hey, Sir Buzz, good to see you. Hey, Lady Murasaki, what is up? <laughs> this is a place where you can buy uh, chopsticks and get your chopsticks engraved for free. All right, section three. Look how empty the side streets are compared to this market. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Let's keep going. So, what day is Thanksgiving, guys? When is Thanksgiving in America? Hello, Shogun. Good to see you, Shogun. Yeah, let's get lost together, Duck Paracord. I'm not gonna get lost, really. It's just one long street and at the end of this street we're gonna get to like a um, another shopping street that's not as crowded however um, yeah this is fun this is fun walking around with you guys I was actually debating what I should do today I was with Satoshi he went home yesterday he went home yesterday and I stayed back for a couple of days so I can uh, make some videos for my third channel. I've already made five if you can't believe it. So it's now all about editing. Oh look, there's some dango here. Oh goodness. There are more food here. There's some unagi. That's a little fruit stand there. And this place is selling something called hamo. Gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. Like, there's so many people, I can't like show you <coughs> close up unless I don't really partic. I don't like hamo. It's a type of fish, um, but there's a lot of bones in it, so I don't want to buy any hamo. <coughs> okay. Hello, Lawrence. How are you, Lawrence, my friend? How's your weekend going? Here's more tsukemono shops here. Like I mentioned, tsukemono is super, super famous here in Kyoto. They do tsukemono probably the best in the entire country. Whoops. There are more tsukemono shops here. Wow. This, uh, this live stream is becoming not so much like a market, but it's more like a... Uh, what do you call? <laughs> like the top of people's head. <laughs> oh, this egg omelet shop is yummy. Actually, I'm gonna go to a different one. No, this is not the one. Sorry, I keep I keep forgetting. I know you guys are probably wondering what is Shinichi talking about. Yeah, I. Gosh. You know what? It feels like I'm walking in Harajuku Takeshita Dori. That's how crowded it is right now. Boy, oh boy. All right. I just I, I need to get get to that crossing over there. Oh goodness. All right. Gosh. 
So, if you guys do come here on the weekend, um, warning, it's going to be crowded. <laughs> this is, this is uh, what you're, gonna, you're going to experience. I'm still here. I am alive. I'm still here. All right, you know what? I figure it might be more fun if I'm, uh, if you can see my face instead of other people's heads. Uh, so I'm feeling okay, actually. Um, my cough is a little bit better. Yesterday, I didn't feel that great. I was coughing so badly. You know what? This black soybean milkshake here is really nice. I'm, I wonder if they'll allow me to like, no, I had no. It's too cold for a milkshake right now. Hey, Valley, what's up? Okay, it's a little bit less crowded here. All right, let me. Uh, here we go. A one, yeah. This market is definitely a challenge if you're claustrophobic. That's for sure. But you know when it's not as crowded, like if you go during the week day, and you kind of like skip the peak time, like autumn. <laughs> Because right now the autumn leaves are beautiful. I really wanted to take you guys to see some autumn leaves, but it's so packed right now. Um, but I have taken a lot of good footage for you guys from my third channel uh, yesterday and the day before. I got up really early just for you guys. I got up like like 4 a.m. so that I could get to the, the temples at like 5 30 6 a.m and if you go that early there's hardly any people it's so it's quite nice yeah. here's some shrimp over here which is actually pretty good and the lady's nice but i've had that like three times so we're skipping that as well oh my gosh and another thing you do have to have uh, stamina. Make sure you have a lot of energy to get yourself through these streets because, once again, hey, hi, how are you? Sure. Uh, hi, I'm doing a live stream now. If you guys don't mind. Oh my God, what's your name? Sheila. Angelina. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, thank you. We're sure. looking forward to meeting you actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I've been watching your uh, YouTube videos. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Can that's so because nice. This is our first time in Japan, so that's why. Right. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really crowded, right? Yeah. yeah. Right now. It's freezing. And One moment. Your videos are very helpful. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, one more, so <laughs> well, is it light? Yeah, 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 I yeah. think so. Maybe, uh... <laughs> One moment, guys! <laughs> oh. That's nice. <laughs> thank you! Sure, thank you! Nice thank you. Yeah, nice meeting you! Nice meeting you! Thank you! Meeting you. Thank you. Have a thank good time you. here! Bye! What's up, everybody? <laughs> so that was nice. Okay, I'm gonna let I'm, I'm gonna let them walk. I'm gonna let them walk ahead of me. Hey, Paylin. No, I'm not popular. But you know the cool thing is that every time I come here, we I always bump into someone. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. <laughs> every time I meet a fan on the street, I think is my hair okay? You know, do I look fine? All right. <laughs> All right, have they gone? Okay. Here we go. Let's let's continue on this tour. They were sweet. They were sweet. They they did catch me off guard. To be honest with you guys, like really, um, I get caught off guard, <laughs> and then sometimes I don't know how to react. It's funny. I should be used to it by now. But I never do. I never do. Okay, so wow, it's crowded again. <laughs> Hello, sweet sensation. Thank you for joining me today. Um, uh, for for those of you that's just joining me, welcome to Kyoto, 
very, very packed Kyoto Nishiki Market, one of the biggest、uh, open air markets in the Kansai area. And let me、uh, get through here. I need to get through. Hey, Clayton. And please excuse me, you know, it's hard for me to、uh, read and walk at the same time. I'm, I'm gonna try my best still. Hey, Tara, hi, Tara Martin. I'm doing good. How are you? Here's another、uh, wagashi shop. So, as you can see, if you take your time、uh, to walk along this street, it, it can be quite pleasant. It really is. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite markets. We're almost at the end. Can you believe how long this street was? Once we come to the end, we'll come to a really beautiful、uh, shrine. And、um, we'll come to like a mo modern area of Kyoto. We're almost at the end. Can anyone else see the ceiling? Hi, Bri Hi Brian. Do I feel better?、Ah, I sure do. I feel a lot better. Thank you so much for asking. All right.、Uh, so, this is pretty much、uh, once we get there, that's the end of the market. Right here. Let's look back one more time. So that's the end of the market. Hey! By the way, I forgot to ask you guys, where are you guys from? Really? Is it Manila? Are you guys from Manila? Pagaitai. Okay, because we're actually thinking about going to Manila next year to try all the street food and stuff. Because we heard there's a lot of good food there. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing compares to Japan. Oh, but I'm, I'm trying to learn Filipino food. I tried lumpia and I tried. Adobo. Yeah. Oh no, I, I haven't tried that yet. No, that's not me. That one I'm a little scared. Oh yeah, that's David Bustos, right? No, but、um, I'm obsessed with adobo. So obsessed. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the way, everyone's saying you guys are cute. Ah,、uh, thank you. Ah,、uh, you guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Ah,、uh, oh, thank you. Have a good day, guys. Can I give you guys a hug? <laughs> thank you. Thank you.、Mm. Have a good time. You too. Bye. I have a feeling that we will see you here. Probably, yeah. I'll be here for a couple more days. Yeah. Bye. I have to give them a hug because you're so sweet. You know, I felt so awkward a moment ago. <sighs> Do I prefer fans to say hi or just walk past? To be honest with you, I prefer fans to say hello to me. I'd rather they say hello to me than、uh, writing me later saying they saw me at Starbucks or something, but they were afraid to say hi. Then I'm like, oh no, then I feel so bad. I'm like, was I like picking my nose or something? Okay, so at the end of the street, here, look, check it out. You got like these huge shoten guy, which are like shopping street. And at the end of this street here is a little shrine. So let's go in here. And you know what? I'm gonna, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and walk towards、uh, the river, Kamogawa, which is one of the main rivers of、uh, Kyoto, and it's really beautiful. Can you tell from my voice that、um, I'm getting, I'm slowly getting my energy? Because <laughs> I, just, I just stepped out of the hotel and I was kind of like low energy. I haven't had anything to eat. And yeah. Oh, so this is a temple. This is a shrine. Okay. And because it's sacred, I'm not going to go in here with my,、um, with my camera because it's disrespectful. All right. Let's see. Let's go this way. I'm quite unfamiliar with Kyoto. So sorry. Check this out. 
This is uh, one of my favorite shops. Actually, I should buy something here. These are our smartphone covers, and they're super, super Japanese. But I think the design is really nice. Like, this is a uh, Kyoto. Here's some other smartphone designs as well. Isn't this lovely? But I want one of these uh, smartphone rings. And actually, I actually need one of these smartphone rings. I was born the year of the horse. So maybe I should buy this. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. Do you guys mind if I, I, I buy this really quickly? Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Okay. And so this is a really nice store. I hope they don't mind me walking in here with this phone. Okay. そのままで大丈夫です。1100円ですね。はい。はい。すいません。美味しいかな。美味しい。はい。写真のものね。ありがとうございます。Alright guys, I got it. I got it. It's 1100 yen. That's with the tax. That's not bad, right? Check it out. Oh, there's Wendy's here. Ha. <laughs> I think I saw Critical Eats. Like, that's, that's your place, right? So I got this. So I was born, my Chinese horoscope is um, the horse. I was born in the year of the fire horse. So I'm gonna use that later. I'm so happy I found this. So random. Okay, so let's, let's continue with this uh, super random tour. It was supposed to be Nishiki Market. I was supposed to eat a whole bunch of food there, but it was just too crowded. And so I hope you guys don't mind that I escaped that crowd because it was just too, too difficult for me to film there. Melon bread. But we can always find melon bread elsewhere. Maybe I'll buy some food and we can eat it at the, at the riverbank. What do you think? That sounds nice, doesn't it? Hi, Tony. So where is Satoshi? Well, uh, Satoshi was with me until last night. So we were here for uh, three days. So we spent two nights here. And um, we had a great time. We had a really great time. We got to see the autumn leaves. It was so beautiful. And Satoshi was so happy. And he went back last night and I stayed back to uh, film for my third channel, which is why I'm still here. Uh, okay, there should be more food coming up. Meal at the river? Okay, cats. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, gacha machines here. So these are like a whole bunch of gacha pom machines and uh, the purikura. Look at all these gacha pom machines. Lots of stuff. You want to see what they have? Uh, this is a nurse kitty. So, okay. So you can get one of these uh, outfits for your kitty cat. And this is a Mr. Dudu. <laughs> okay. You find the most uh, random things, you know, in these uh, gachapo machines. It's so funny. Really, Murasaki, you're a horse too. Wow. We're both horses. That's a, uh, what is it? It's called Every Suzuki car. Okay. Wow. As you can see, it's a beautiful day today. It's so lovely out. Now, what should I buy to eat at the, the river? Let's see. I want to buy something that's like, kind of like, only in Kyoto. Taiyaki? <laughs> Taiyaki, ne? Taiyaki. Do they have taiyaki? 
they have boba, but it's too cold for boba. No. Let's go this way. Tamara, I love taiyaki too. I like it. I like it, but it has to be warm. It has to be like piping hot for me. And I like taiyaki that's crispy on the outside. What about you guys? I don't like it when my taiyaki is soft. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna turn here. Oh, and for those of you wondering, like Mindy's mom, are there many public restrooms here in Kyoto? Yes, there are. Yes, and they're free to use. That's one right here, public restroom just in a random area. You'll find a lot of them. Yeah, actually everywhere in Japan you go, you will find public restrooms pretty easy. And if you don't find it, just go to the nearest train station. You, you will usually find a public restroom at the train station. I do know you, Mindy's mom. Well, I don't know you, I don't know you super, super well, but I do, I do know like certain things <laughs> about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice street because there's a lot of space to walk, isn't it? Have some ice cream. We have more gacha machines here. This kind of reminds us of Shinjuku. <laughs> there's that ever popular Ichiran ramen. That's good, but it is a little overrated, if you ask me. They have like pancake, again boba. And they have a cat cafe. Pei san, you like Ichiran? Yeah, you know, Ichiran is delicious. It is good. Huh. Well, wait until we get to uh, the river. It's a beautiful river. Tomorrow it's Sunday, and I'm gonna try my best to maybe do a live stream early in the morning, like before the crowds come, and maybe I'll take you guys on a really nice walk somewhere in Kyoto. How's that? Do you guys like the sound of that? And I am going to be responsible for tomorrow's live stream Human Tabi eats. Satoshi has a work thing, so I will be uh, li uh, streaming live twice tomorrow on Tabi eats and this channel uh, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Jason, I will. I shall. Hi, Shinichi Konnichiwa. Hello, Bang. I want to know your other channel. Would you mind sharing it with me? Thank you and be safe. Sure. Oh. By the way, so this is one of the main shopping streets. As you can see, suddenly it's super, super modern. Um, but we need to cross here to get to the river. My, my third channel is called I Will Really Travel For Food. Pretty easy to remember, right? I Will Really Travel For Food. And just FYI, I, I don't show my face and I don't talk at all. So if you don't mind that kind of videos, then definitely watch it. Konnichiwa. Bojo Pigeon. Yes, you know your Kyoto really well, huh? Yes, we are very near Pontocho. Maybe we should walk through Pontocho. What do you think? You wanna walk through Pontocho? <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello, sexy Tokyo Drew. What's up? Okay. Shoo, why did you decide not to talk on that channel? Well, let me tell you why. One moment, okay? Just have to make sure I'm going in the right direction. The reason why I don't talk on my third channel, you know what? Can we save this question until we get to the riverside? Is that okay? Just remember, okay? That way I can sit down and talk with you guys, have a chat. Would that be fine? Okay, so let me look for something to eat and then we can go to the riverside, okay? <sighs> One moment. <laughs> All right, let me... Uh... 
once again, I do want to say that it's not this crowded during the weekday, but it is the weekend right now. It's Saturday. So everyone's out. Not only the tourists, but the local people as well. And uh, Kyoto is a destination for everyone, especially during the Sakura season and the autumn season, like it is right now. I'm taking a detour to show you guys Pontocho. Pontocho is um, it's one of the entertainment quarters of Kyoto. Very, very atmospheric. Um, it hasn't changed, um, you know, since the days of the geishas. And, um, but, but one thing has changed though. The one thing that has changed is that most of the shops are now tourist friendly. So, ah, yes, shoe. The alleys are much calmer. That's why I like these uh, alleys, these small side streets. I much prefer them, to be honest with you, if I had a choice. So you're gonna notice the streets gonna get like narrow and you're gonna see a lot of um, eateries and bars that are not open yet though. Yeah, they usually open at nighttime. So, I think this is Pontocho. Let me see. No, I'm wrong. Sorry, I need to go across this river. And I love these uh, nice little rivers, you know, that flow all over Kyoto. Look at this. Isn't this like something out of a movie? <laughs> like a Japanese movie? So this is one of the, this is not the river we're talking about, but this is one of the small canals that flow through the city on both sides like this. And the autumn leaves. Right. All right, let's cross the street here. Oh. Okay. All right. Hello, Simon, what is up? Hi, Simon, how's your day? Okay. You know, I was trying to look for like a detour to Pontocho, but I couldn't find it. So I think I'm just gonna walk to the main street and then go into Pontocho from there. So how many of you guys have been to Kyoto before? Raise your hand. I would like to know. And the reason why is because I'd like to ask your opinion of what you think about uh, Kyoto. What do you guys think of Kyoto? What's your impression of Kyoto? Hi. Oh. Yeah, okay. You guys, oh, a lot of you guys have been twice, huh? Once, I was there in 1993. You hope to come soon. Well, Kyoto is a beautiful city. It's one of my favorite cities, I have to say, in Japan. It has so much character and it's so different from Tokyo. Here we are at the entrance of Pontocho. So, here we go. The history of Pontocho. Pontocho, one of the most outstanding and prosperous uh, quarters of Kyoto, used to be a sandbar in the Kamo River. Um, let's see. Lots of inns or tea houses served by hostesses were allowed to be put in this street in 1712 and the area became a prop prosperous quarter. Um, it says uh, the ex exact origin of the word Pontocho is unknown. However, it's believed to have come from the English word point or the Portuguese word pont as the area was developed on the west side of the river. Um, Kamogawa Odori, the traditional geisha dance, which is held at Pontocho Theater every spring and autumn, is considered a very popular annual event of Kyoto. So this is Pontocho. So that's a little bit of history for you guys. And this is the start of Pontocho. Now, once again, it's a lot more crowded and a lot more lively at nighttime because this is more a night quarter, but it's nice to walk along this street. 
you see a lot of uh, traditional buildings, traditional architecture. Um, it's a very narrow road, and you can just just you know imagine how it used to be back back in the olden days, when uh, most of the restaurants here were exclusive. You had to be introduced by a regular customer to even enter. You know, and you would see geishas popping in and out from these uh, places. Um, it's not too cold today, actually. Yeah, it's sunny. Um, it was much colder yesterday, the day before, because it was raining here. Boja Pigeon, you're absolutely right. Um, I actually tried to uh, film here at night, but it was too dark. So I gave up on that. Shoo, so many foreigners. Yeah, actually Kyoto is very popular with foreigners. I, I'm thinking maybe it's the most popular city because it feels like more than half of the people walking are foreigners, are tourists. And look, um, the last time I was here, I noticed that there's a Morimoto restaurant here. You know the Iron Chef guy? He has a Morimoto Kyoto right here in Pontocho. Dang, Kyoto is overrun with Chinese, just like Ginza. Well, I don't want to say overrun because uh, they do bring a lot of business. So Japan is very grateful to the Chinese tourists that uh, come here. But yes, there are a lot of Chinese tourists here, but, but there's also Korean and um, especially in Kyoto, I do see a lot of more uh, Caucasian tourists here. So I do hope um, this is enjoyable for you guys, this walk through Pontocho. I've already decided what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going to this old-fashioned rice cracker shop that I've been to twice at the end of this street. I'll get, I'm going to get some rice crackers. I actually got some really interesting bread in my bag right now. And then we'll take that to the river, eat it together and have a chat. How's that? Sounds like a good idea. Tamar yes, I love senbe too. Um, especially, I mean, I like senbei from all prefectures here in Japan, but I gotta say, the senbei here in Kyoto is very different again. Kyoto is all about spices, and they especially like to use a spice called sansho, which is, you know, kind of like a numbing, numbing, numbing chili. Very similar to the stuff you, you put inside mapo dofu, and they use that spice a lot. Senbei shu. Senbei is rice cracker in Japanese. So you guys can imagine this place at nighttime. You know, it's, it's quite dark, but all the lanterns are lit up and it's quite romantic. If it's not crowded. If it's crowded, well, forget the romance factor, but it's atmospheric nonetheless. Hi Elena, do they sell kawaii clothing in Kyoto? They sure do. Oh my god, that was a real Michael-san, guys. That was a real one. Did you see? So, that was a real one. That wasn't a tourist. Oh, uh, yeah, that, right over there. That's a real one. Okay. I'm, now, that's a real... You see the lady with the pink handbag? So that is a real... Um, this, it's very rare. I think it's the first time I've seen one. That is a real Maiko-san, which is like, she's like an apprentice of a geisha. Yeah. Interesting. Wow, that is cool. That was, that is so rare. You, you see all the Japanese people, they're all, they're all taking pictures with, with the Maiko in the back because it's so rare. <laughs> yeah, you can tell by her hair. Yeah. Well, that was that was special. That was super special. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a celebrity sighting. Wow, that was interesting. Okay. Hi, dark paracord. But does geisha do what they used to do in the past? Some, 
um, but you know they only do the they don't, they don't do the dirty deeds anymore you know they, they entertain you with music uh, singing dance um, jokes comedy hospitality yeah it's a little bit different they, they no longer they are no longer um, prostitutes like I don't know did they I think they were like semi prostitutes in the past I might be wrong but no they don't do that anymore it's more like a you know like a they're a bit more they only do sophisticated things now <laughs> they're entertainers <laughs> yeah So as you can see, Pontocho is actually a very long alley. Just as long as the market we walk through. It's fun to walk around at night. It's really nice. All right, so once we get out of this uh, Pontocho alley, We'll get some rice crackers and then we will go to the riverbank. Feng Ov says no Christmas decorations question mark. Well, not in Kyoto. The only places you will see Christmas decorations here in Kyoto is at Kyoto Station and the department stores. But Kyoto uh, maybe I'll show you guys tomorrow. They do have some decorations up, but they're nothing like Christmas. Kyoto is all about refinement and sophistication. So they have a lot of rules here. For example, there are 7-Elevens, Lawson's and Family Marts. They're not their usual color. It's usually brown. Um, their banks are brown. Their post offices are kind of like beige. It's too... It's, 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 it's as so they don't uh, ruin the atmosphere of Kyoto. So they're trying to keep that. Yeah, brown konbini. It is pretty cool. All right, we're here at Kamogawa, guys. This is Kamo River. The most popular river in Kyoto. But before I go there, I wanted to go to the rice cracker shop. But you know what? Since my battery's gonna run out, I think I'm just gonna go down to the river and then enjoy the thing I already bought with you guys. Hope you don't mind. So this is Kamogawa, guys. Kamogawa. Here we go. Let's go down. <laughs> do you have Christmas trees in Japan? Yeah, we do. Uh, I, I do. I, I have a Christmas tree in my apartment every year. Ah, it's so nice. It feels so nice here. This one, you know, I gotta say, Kamokawa is one of my favorite places to come uh, when I come to Tokyo because it's just so relaxing. It's in the middle of the city, but and there's all these like little birds. They're not like super little, but I don't even know what the name of these birds are. Look. What kind of bird would that be? It's called Kamogawa, which means duck river because there are a lot of ducks in this river. Uh, maybe we'll see some. Oh, it's a heron. Interesting. And you got some ducks over there. Let's. Can you see the ducks swimming? Those are the ducks. Those are the ducks going by. But it's really nice. All right, we're going to uh, sit somewhere and then eat the bread. I believe it's a shallow river. It might be a shallow river. Okay, let me look for a place to sit along the riverbank. Then we can chat and I can eat my bread. I bought some really nice looking bread. 
that I was going to eat with you guys. And it's interesting, you know, on this side there's a river, right? But here, there's also a small river flowing here as well. I find that quite interesting. Did you and Satoshi pick your theme of your tree this year? Not yet. I was thinking of making this year like natural, you know. Every year I do like purple or pink or one year it was all gold, one year it was all red, and then one year it was all colorful. But I'm thinking maybe this year we'll, we'll do something very natural. <laughs> Dark paracord food theme? Mm -hmm. I don't know, good idea, but <laughs> food theme Christmas. I'll be hungry all the time. All right, so. I think I'm gonna sit myself down right around here. This looks like a nice place to sit, don't you think? Yeah, I'm gonna sit right here along the riverbank. Dang, you're always hungry. I am, I'm always hungry. Ow! It's actually not pleasant to sit. Ow! I need something for my butt. One moment. One moment, please. I'm going to set up my stuff here. I notice the, you know what, maybe I'll just sit. You know what, I'm gonna sit over there. Sorry, sorry. You know why? It's actually kind of painful to sit here. You guys notice? There's plastic here. So I'm gonna go a little bit more down where they don't have the plastic because it's hurting my butt. <laughs> Defensive design, yeah. Okay, this side's a little better. All right, here we go. This is nicer. This is much nicer. Here we go. Let's sit right here. Okay, this looks better. Ah, nice. Hello, Allison. Yeah, let me get my tripod. I do have a tripod today. So I can sit with you guys and eat. Yeah, oops. Oops, what, what's happening? Sorry. I turned it off by mistake. <laughs> my, my gimbal. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to make you guys dizzy. Wait now. put this somewhere hmm not as okay hi such a strange um such a strange angle but I hope this is okay so I, I found this uh, river uh, not not river. I found this bakery. Uh, I found this bakery like right outside, kind of nearby my hotel. It was really nice. It was like one of the nicest bakeries I've been. And I had to get these two things because, like, I've never seen anything like this in uh, Tokyo. But here, right here, this. I bet you guys cannot get, guess what kind of bread this is. Can you? I almost dropped it. See how many of you guys can guess. What kind of bread is this? The hint is, it's Japanese. Mm. Looks infused with matcha? Matcha? By the way, the bakery is called... Uh, uh, what's the bakery called? I don't know. Oh, here. It is called Antique. It is called Antique. Ah, okay, so this is Hojicha. It's Hoji Tea Anpan. So it's Hojicha Anpan. Yeah, so combining Hoji Tea. Um, so that's probably Hoji Tea, and probably the Hoji Tea is infused inside the bread with um, azuki beans on the inside. So. Yes, 
uh, cafe. Uh, it is the tea. Hoji tea is the type of tea. It's the type of roasted tea. And maybe you guys uh, saw Satoshi's video on how to make hoji tea at home. Did you guys watch it? I hope you did. Because he worked really hard on the hoji tea video. Yeah, right? Right, Mindy's mom? Okay, and it looks like that. Oh, check it out. Not only does it have azuki beans, but they have mochi on the inside. Mochi, azuki bean, and hojicha infusing the bread with hojicha cream. Isn't that interesting? Takimasu. Wow. That is a lot of mochi in here. Look at all the mochi. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. Super interesting bread. I never... I never imagined mochi and bread would go together. Tea sugar salt, right? Yeah, so many textures. The bread is flaky, but soft on the inside, but the, the mochi is chewy. The, the azuki beans are like beany, and the, the hoji the cream on the, the top is like icing, and it's like, wow, there's like six different textures and you know flavors in one bite. Mmm, mmm, that's good. The sun feels so good because it's a little bit cold. Mm. Christy, thank you. I'm so happy you're enjoying these videos. Hello, Danielle. Mm -hmm. Now, Cafe Logis, you never found good coffee in Japan? Oh no, we have good coffee here. Tamara, are you still here today? Tamara, what do you think of the coffee here? Now, if you are looking for like American style coffee, you will not find it here. Like the, the, you know, you have to, you have to, you'll get proper coffee here. Um, so they are a bit darker. Uh, um, and depending on where you go, sometimes it's bitter. But um, yeah, it, you just have to look for a place that you like because each place specializes their, in their own blend. Yeah, Shu Chue says 7 Eleven 100 yen is awesome. Exactly. Um, Satoshi also likes the 7 Eleven coffee as well. He does. Here's the other bread. Look at this. Now, can you guess what this looks like, guys? It's a French pastry. Let me see if you guys can guess. But this is a little bit different. Mm. The <laughs> dark paracord, all the shade. No, I was not trying to. Throw shade. No, 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 no. Not trying to throw, throw shade. Just saying, the coffee here is different. Tamara, yes. Madeleine, yes. So, yes. Madeleine, Mindy's mom, yes. Okay, Mambo, thank you so much for uh, stopping by and saying hello. Yes, David, Madeleine. So, this is a Madeleine combined with bread. So, it is a Madeleine bread. Have you seen anything like it? I can't even imagine what it's gonna taste like. I, I, I just thought this was um, so cool. It's like, yeah, like a hybrid, right? Madeline bread. <laughs> Which is why I had to get it. They had so, so many interesting bread at this particular bakery. Mindy's mom, it's a breadland. Yes, and um, I wanna go back because they had so many different types of bread here. That was so unique. <sighs> Let's see what's on the inside. Oh, it's custard? Is it custard? Whoa. Okay, did not expect that. I just bought it because I thought it was interesting. I thought it wasn't gonna have anything on the inside. Tomorrow, yes, it's called antique bread, yes. Cust I think it's on custard. Let's try it. Wow. So much custard in here.
That is good. This is custard. It's good custard with in a bread. Mm. Very interesting because the bottom is bread, so it's bready, but the top is sort of cakey like a madeleine, and the inside is um cream. It's custard. Levia, is it really sweet? No, no. It's like, it's subtly sweet. I don't think, um, sweets in Japan are not too sweet, so. Yeah, oh, you like my bracelet, thank you. Um, so where is Antique located in Kyoto? So, this was located very near the entrance of Nishiki Market, where, where we started the video today. So very near there, um, I, I don't know the exact place, but maybe I, I will leave the link in the description below this video, if I remember. If I don't remember, please remind me to on the comment section, thank you. I don't know if Antique is a chain, but I've never seen it before. It was like the cutest bakery ever, like really. Um, okay, so. Um, let me ask, answer some questions, you know, someone asked why, one of you guys asked why I decided to make my third channel the way it is, you know, why don't I show my face and why am I not talking on my, my, my videos on my third channel, I will really travel for food, there are a couple of reasons, number one, I wanted to do something different. Actually, actually, no. Okay. The reason why I started the channel, number one, I wanted, I wanted to see if I could monetize a channel, a new channel, quickly, which I did. Number two, I wanted to do something different from what I already do. I wanted to catch a different audience. Um, because, believe it or not, a lot of people don't like our videos because they simply don't like us. You know, it just, it just can't be helped, you know? Like we have our preferences for um, uh, personalities on television or YouTube. So I get it. And then number three, it had to be easy enough for me to make. Um, and it is a lot harder, it is a lot more difficult to make a video when you have to talk because you have to be coherent. <laughs> so, um, you know, you, you need to, you need to, uh, be energetic and you need to be um, on your best, you know, on, on camera. So the, um, these videos, because I'm not on and I don't have to talk, I can basically be in my pajamas if I wanted to, you know, or I, you know, I could still film even if I had a cold and I, I had lost my voice. So it's a lot easier to uh, create. And finally, I wanted to start a video that I could keep making even if, um, say, I suddenly became super ugly or super old or, or something, you know. I, I've always been telling guys I have like maybe six, seven good years left and, and I thought I need to make a channel that does not show my face or my voice and, you know, that, that, that I can monetize. and. Um, and, and those are the reasons why. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way, um, I don't know which bread I like better. I do have to say that um, the, uh, the Madeleine one was more wow because I wasn't expecting it. But um, I like both, I like both. <laughs> But I do like the feeling of that I will always travel for food channel. Thank you. I'm so happy that you do Merry Christmas. A lot of people do like that channel. Some people say it's their favorite channel and some people don't like that channel. And that's that's totally fine because that, that was the aim of the entire experiment for me. Uh, <laughs> or less, yes, yeah, six to seven good years. Keep on going on, bro. Thank you, Jason. 
uh, we love you not just for the looks, okay? <laughs> uh, a good different, great variety. Thank you. I'm very, very happy. Uh, YB, thank you. I love you too. Thelma, uh, right now I'm sitting on the banks of the Kamo River in Kyoto, Japan. Um, it is in the middle of uh, uh, the autumn foliage season here and it's one of the most beautiful times to be here in Kyoto. Uh, I wish I could have uh, shown you, uh, I wish I could have done the live stream at one of those places and I am, I'm thinking of doing one tomorrow morning early but um, I did take a lot of uh, videos, footage for you guys for my third channel. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of autumn foliage and a lot of temples and stuff, but really nice ones. Yeah, really, really, really. Um, it's beautiful. I hope you guys watch it. I really do, um, because I noticed that the the videos that I make uh, that shows a lot of um, scenery, Japanese scenery, like the bamboo forest or the Fushimi Inari Shrine. It's not that popular. My most popular ones are the the really infor informative ones, like uh, like trains or uh, capsule hotels or Costco, you know. Um, but my 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 worst performing ones were the last two that I put out, uh, the Fushimi Inari Shrine and the Bamboo Forest. So that does make me think, you know, like should I continue to make those videos? But um, but it's okay um, because I did take a lot of food as well. So we'll see. Maybe I can uh, trick some people into watching these videos with the food. <laughs> Thank you, Autumn Leaves. I do hope you watch them. I do hope you guys watch those um, videos I made, the uh, last two videos, because those two places, if you've never been there, Fushimi Nari and the bamboo, uh, Grove, they're just stunning places. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Tokyo Drew. Mm -hmm. Valen, so glad you're enjoying those videos. And Wanda, same. Thank you so much. Mm. It's getting a little cold. Evil of Spaghetti, can you do one at the fish market? Like, which fish market are you talking about? Hello, A1. Um, is there a connection and significance of Riverside to youth and honesty in Japanese culture? What? I'm not sure what that means, A1. Sorry, can you like, maybe um, ask in a different way? I didn't really understand that. Um, Hello, Nicole from uh, Las Vegas, from the UMC Medical Center. Hi, how are you? I hope everything's okay with you, Nicole. <laughs> Tomorrow, I still need to catch up with the videos. Well, I have a lot of videos for you guys. Tokyo Drew, I have presents for you, Shinichi's World, from Julian. Oh, okay. All right, we'll hang out soon. Guys, can I say something? This year, don't you think it, it has gone by so quickly? I cannot believe it's almost December. It's scary. It's scary how it is already December. Like, I'm not ready for the year to end. Um, yeah, just so shocked. Uh, right? It really has, right? No, too slow for me, says Feng. Really? Well, I'm envious, Feng. I wish it goes by slowly. There's so many things to do, and I seem to not be able to do everything in a year. Yeah, the older I get, the faster time flies. You can say that again, Ramble. Uh, my whole world changed this year. Tea, sugar, salt. Oh, I hope it changed for the better. Danielle. I can't believe I turned 40. That's okay. 40 is a good year. Does anyone else know Shinichi and Satoshi gets a real Christmas tree? Actually, we got a fake one. Merry Christmas. We actually have a fake one that's um, in the uh, attic all year long until 
Christmas time comes around because we don't really have real Christmas trees in Japan. The only ones they have are really small ones that you have to go all the way to Ikea. But other than that, you don't, you don't, you, you, you can't find uh, fresh Christmas trees. Yeah, at all. Bobby, I've already bought uh, bread and I've eaten it. And I've, I've also had a mochi as well. Um, <clears throat> Nicole, in the hospital with a back issue. Oh, well, I hope you get better soon. I really do. All right, so I'm gonna start walking. Does Justin get a Christmas tree? No, not really. No, I think he'd rather have chicken or something. Hmm. So, um, uh oh. One moment. What's happening? Oops, sorry. There we go. Mm, goodness. Yeah, this really is a nice place. Yeah, it really, really is. It's a little bit cold now, but it's so relaxing. So A1. It seems like a lot of important scenes in Japanese movies about youth is shot at Riverside like Heart to Heart Talks. Um, A1, I, you know, I think it's because it's romantic, I think. Maybe it's romantic. Yeah, like Feng says, it's quiet. And so it just makes for a nice scene, I think, in movies. I think that's the only reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, oops, my bread. I'm gonna eat my bread. Hmm. Hmm. So, <clears throat> the reason why the reason why I asked you guys about um, if you'd been to Kyoto or not and I wanted to know what you guys thought of Kyoto is because I wanted to ask you if you like Kyoto more or Tokyo more. Yeah. Because Kyoto and Tokyo is very, very different, you know? Or do you prefer a different city? Like Osaka, for example. Okay, so Merry Christmas likes Kyoto. Very interesting. My friend definitely likes Kyoto. Tokyo Drew likes Tokyo. Osaka. Hmm. Hmm. Nicole, you like Kyoto. Dark Paracord likes Hiroshima. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Miss Shizuoka. Hmm. Okay. YB, I love both cities, but I hate Osaka. Really? Because what's interesting to me is a lot of people that I meet, you know, that, that are foreigners, one of their favorite cities is Osaka. One of our patrons, Benno, he doesn't really like Tokyo. He says it's too busy, which I totally understand. Um, um, another friend likes Kyoto the best. Um, Cafe Logos, you have a good point there. People are more, more outgoing in Osaka, or should I say, people in Osaka are more friendlier. They're friendlier. They're not embarrassed to start up a conversation. In Tokyo, that would be kind of weird. So, I think like if you're traveling solo, you have a lot more fun in Osaka, for example, you know? Hmm. Rolesque, the transportation in Kyoto is a pain. I agree with you. Totally agree with you. Transportation kind of sucks here. I do recommend bicycle. What? What is wrong with this? Sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with my. 
I'm sorry. You know, I bought this um, gimbal, and I don't know why, but the battery runs out so quickly. Mm. I hate my gimbal. I just bought it. Mm. I just bought my gimbal. Oh. Now what's going on now? One moment. What's going on? Sorry. So sorry. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, the battery came out. Are you serious? Hold on. Okay, I see what's wrong. One moment, guys. I'll be with you in just one moment. I understand what's wrong now. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. You know what happened? The my my battery, the 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 the, the, the cover that was um, keeping my battery in place came off how weird that is so weird all right we're gonna walk because i'm getting cold my cell phone cover yeah it came off and this is a new gimbal oh well it's cold now oh that's super odd isn't it so during the summer months here you see, uh, these, these uh, they're actually not houses, but these are actually like restaurants. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> my gimbal. My gimbal, what is wrong with my gimbal? Okay, so these houses, these restaurants here, during the summer, um, it actually comes out over this like stream here. And, uh, that's where you can eat um, and it only happens during the summertime yeah um, that's something I haven't done yet but one day I'd like to do that oh, one moment by the way Tokyo Drew when are you leaving to uh, Las Vegas okay I, I think um, everything's okay now goodness of Kyoto looks really quiet not really Kyoto is very very crowded it's just the riverside is quiet uh, because um, most people don't want to uh, you know sit around on the riverside when it's cold you know you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to run a bike I think maybe on Monday that's what I'm thinking. Brother, come to the meetup in Vegas. I'm driving over. Are you really? <laughs> well, you know, I did tell Drew that I was thinking of going to Vegas because Satoshi and I, we really want to go to eat all the buffets. <laughs> nope, there's no litter. No, no, that's not litter in the river. Rachel, let me show you. No, it's not litter at all. That's a... Uh, little rocks and pebbles and then the things floating on the surface are ducks and then we have uh, birds there let's see. see that's a bird see that bird there that white thing that's a bird but no it's a clean river that's okay rachel because if you did see litter that would be bad <laughs> Shinichi doesn't want to sleep in the same bed with me. That's not true. I just don't want to sleep with you and your wife. I don't want to sleep in between you and your wife. Got that? <laughs> yeah, your, your wife is too wild for me, dude. 
She gets wild when she's intoxicated. But your wife's cool. She's nice. Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, so tomorrow I'm gonna have two live streams. Uh, one, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a live stream really early in the morning. I need a I need a reason to get up early in the morning. So I thought you know get up early in the morning and go to a place where the autumn leaves are fabulous so you guys can you know experience it with me because it really is amazing the autumn leaves here amazing um, uh, what time um, I'm thinking around like 7 or 8 a.m. here Japan time yeah 7 or 8 a.m. I'm thinking and uh, maybe 8 a.m. 8 a.m. sounds more doable and then uh helicopter and then at 1 p.m. Japan time I'll be doing the regularly scheduled Tabi Eats live stream from here uh, Tokyo I'm uh, sorry Kyoto I still trying to decide where and what I'm gonna eat um, but we'll see um, I'm gonna be doing some research today after this live stream see what I can find and um, whether it's a good idea to be eating outside or not but we'll see we'll see uh, yeah but um, yeah but anyway yeah I hope you guys don't get bored of seeing me twice tomorrow <laughs> okay and then finally before I end um, please I, I do hope you guys watch uh, all the recipe videos uh, Satoshi's been cooking up a storm uh, he's been doing most of the cooking because I've been sick and uh, um, his recipes are fantastic and I like his miso soup recipe I like how informative they are and I like uh, I loved his hojicha uh, video I really did and um, the food reviews uh, the food review channel we, we we did a whole bunch of stuff there uh, weekly food review videos that are up there every Tuesday and then of course my third channel I will really travel for food I have one video every week I used to do three but I realized that I'm a human being and it's a bit too much for me so one video a week I think for now for my third channel and uh, for here check out this bird here so what kind of bird is that? Anyone that bird? No, that's not a duck. That's like something else. So this is a heron? A swan river. Oh, it's a heron. Interesting. Very interesting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I keep pressing the wrong button on my gimbal. Uh, what was I talking about? But anyway, if there's something that you guys want to see on the third channel, please let us know. I'm actually on all the channels. I, I would love it if you guys write in the comment section what you guys want to see. Okay? And um, yes, I hope you watched the last video that just came out today the um the los angeles video um i know i've been i've gotten a few uh comments that said i'm like an idiot for recommending downtown la but i gotta say see i like it i like it i know there are a lot of homeless people there and i know you know it's not the cleanest area but I like it because I love the architecture. I really do. I love uh, I love how like there's history. I mean, that's the type of stuff I like. And so it's a personal, uh, you know, it's a personal uh, favorite of mine. So it's not like a professional uh, uh, recommendation. It's just from a personal uh, point of view. So um, I, I hope you don't mind because I know a lot of people, you know, say, you know, 
downtown. Why do you recommend that? But it's just, I mean, I, I like it. I, I, I just like it. I love architecture. I can't help it. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, I'll say goodbye here. Actually, I'll say goodbye and we go up here because there's one more um, talking about architecture. You see this building in front of me? It's a Chinese restaurant and I love the architecture. This building right here in front of me. Look at this building. Like you could imagine this in Shanghai or something. But this building has been here for a while. It's been for a long time actually. And I love that building. The inside is very retro. It's called Toka Saikan Chinese restaurant. Kind of pricey though. And then the architecture across the building. I love that as well. And I also love that building jutting out right over there as well. See, I love architecture. I'm an architecture buff. I don't know much about architecture, but I do like nice architecture. Yeah, give me a city with super boring architecture and that would be a city I would not enjoy walking around. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. One last look at Kamo River. And um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you guys tomorrow on another live stream from Kyoto. Have a good day, everybody. I love you all. Bye.